It all started with Joachim coming to me, as always very excited about something, and that was about him wanting to show me a special setup that they put into the Polestar 2. When we did the development of Polestar 2, it's five years of experience. We felt that we can do something more out of this platform. It just looked awesome. It was such a beefy, cool stance that the car had. It was such a looker. We actually ended up then having me driving that car that Joachim had, had built just to kind of experience it. So it became kind of my commuter car that we had always parked in front of headquarters. And it ended up being, of course, noticed a lot from visitors who at that point in time very often came on weekends to see the Polestar building, people who went on holidays to Norway passing by. So this car started to appear in social media. Suddenly they're saying, oh, it's the beast, Thomas Beast. And of course, out of that slowly but surely that kind of BSD beast um, nomenclature for this car derived. It definitely started as well the idea about how much such an element is needed and part of a company that has that expression of being a performance-oriented brand and at the same time being very passionate about the products. So one thing is me trying to describe what it means to drive this car and how it's set up, but of course you know how much better and how joyful and it is just to listen to Joachim what he when he describes what's actually happening in that car. To create the BST we need to have some chassis components. First of all you need to have a tire and together with Pirelli we have done the development for a unique tire for a BST which fits perfect to the rest of the chassis. We have stiffened up the body with a rally bar. On top of that, we have chosen the best shock absorber supplier in the world. It's a lens. And together with a lens, we did a special road and track damper with two ways adjustable. You can adjust compression and rebound separately. But that's not enough. You need to have experience and passion for what you're creating. So BST is a result of the passion, where we go outside the box and we don't have any kind of limitation. We want to create a true performance car. The concept BST, it has two parts in it. On one hand, the subtle stuff. The silver is, of course, a rather classic, non-controversial color. Then we do the subtle thing of, you know, how do you make it that much more mm, beefy and tasty? And okay, the Roadster per se has, of course, already quite a stance, but here we did that extra, you know, more stance each side and really taking the flares at front and rear that much out. Of course, this makes a car that much more confident and enhances the, the original design features. Then there are the elements, which are actually the extrovert stuff, where you, wow, really turn up that volume beyond 10, you know, you go on 11. On top of the silver, yeah, of course, there's suddenly, boom, there's not just silver, there's just break and color split. It's a rather, you know, brutal cut and putting that new other color in there. And then having the graphics play with it and really interacting and maybe even against the shapes of the car, putting some contrast in it. It's like composing a piece of music. Yeah, there's this normal rhythm, but then sometimes if you do something just off rhythm, just slightly off, you actually create that tension and that great groove in it. Boom, a spoiler, I mean, you know. Yes, it's part of the spoiler gang. And to start with, of course, spoilers, spoilers are there because they have a great function. They create the downforce that you need if you have that much extra power. 
Then, you know, I call it now the designer brand poster. Everything's so beautiful and fine. And, uh, and then you put a spoiler on it, you know. Ah, it could really bring this up. How can you? Shouldn't you integrate it? Shouldn't you hide it? And blah, blah, blah. No, I mean, that is where I really like that it has that almost, I call it now, ordinary symbol of sports, isn't it? Because again, it's about contrast, it's about doing something <laughs> naughty. Us going now to Goodwood Festival of Speed and having a concept BST there and using actually one of our most sporty and sports cars, the Roadster, to exhibit and to communicate about this BST idea is what, of course, that concept is it's all about.